actually know what's going on here. I literally have no idea. Help. <laughs> We're, We're 20 whatever. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Hello. And welcome back to 20 whatever. Ooh, we're in Palm Springs. Twenty whatever. It's like it's like in in the Kardashians when they'd be like, Chloe and Kim take New York. Yeah, yeah. Twenty, 20 whatever takes, takes Palm, Palm Springs. Springs. Exactly. <laughs> Obviously, we have a set change here, as you can see. It's giving um lux. It's giving bougie. This whole Airbnb. I think by the time this this episode is out, the vlogs will be out too. Oh, since right. it's Vlogmas, we've got the quick turnaround. Right. The whole like aesthetic of this Airbnb is like the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Yeah, stunning. It's very uh, neutral, like clean looking, like, you know, um, architectural digest. Yes. This looks That's like it. photos of this would be in like a coffee table book. 100%. Yes. And Who, I would buy that. Whoever designed this house, I need you to design mine as yeah. well. It's so, so yeah. nice. Yeah. So we came out here for the Schultz team end of year retreat. So it is the three of us as well as I think that and we have 16 people, right? There's 16 people on the team? No, no, no. Like here oh, on the trip. Oh, I was oh. like, oh my So God. there's eight team members and then I think about half people, half of the people brought plus ones, and then also my parents came. Okay. Right, so. right, right, right. That's that was, that's a full house, girl. Yeah. yeah, we should do a full house parody for that. <laughs> we should, but we, we should. We did our Christmas full house parody. <laughs> we true. did, we did. That would be a funny one though to do. I would just like reuse the sound and do it again for the house, it's and so not even tell them that we're filming. You could just like get little clips of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be that's cute. Fun. And I don't know if you can hear, but my voice. Oh, right. Oh, yes. my gosh. You guys, I've been having too much fun, and it's it's showing. It's showing right now, so. I started losing my voice last night, and I was like, oh, my gosh, you guys. Like, I, I'm going to, my voice is going to be so scratchy on the podcast, but. P, I think you take the I cake. I think you take it, yeah. Last night while we were playing games still, I had like a spoon and like a honey thing and I just kept scooping and scooping. I'm trying, listen, this is better than last night, actually. What do you think pushed it over the edge? Was it the singing pitch perfect in the jacuzzi? Was it the oh, we're all just like yelling, the screaming, the yelling, the the hooting and hollering during White Elephant? Right. <laughs> Honestly, I think maybe White Elephant did it. Like after that, my voice was just like, oh, okay. yeah. You guys <laughs> ended up with uh, the best and most interesting White Elephant gifts at the end of the day. Yeah, I really, I was selling. I was really trying to sell that. What is it? Elephant. Uh, the pig. pig. Peppa. Peppa. We did name it Peppa Pig. <laughs> You were trying to sell her like she was a part of the family, which was crazy to me. And you were trying to keep it. And I was like, I don't want. I want to see Peppa in every vlog. Like, like aesthetic shots of like you like light, like lighting, lighting a, candle, a candle. And I'm like. And then like opening your laptop and then just. And then Peppa. Peppa. You know when like in like movies and stuff when they arrange something, but like they don't actually. And it's literally just like. That's going to be me with Peppa. I'm just going to be like. <laughs> I want to see Peppa like lurking in the background. Like I want to like treat it like it's like a like a horror movie. Right. Like she saw. It's like. Just slow zoom on Peppa. <laughs> and I'm like talking about something really serious. And I mean it on God. If you, if someone would have stolen it from you, my goal was to steal it. You were going to steal it back? Because like, I, I had, I was one, I was the last person. I was 14. So I was like, I'm going to steal Peppa back. For, so I want her, <laughs> I, once I saw, once I laid eyes on her. You I knew. Was like, she was, needs to go in our backyard. Which is, Why? She's beautiful. And I, and I know that you feel a way because of her udders. But listen, <laughs> those babies give. Also, why would they put udders on a pig? What is that about? <laughs> I, I was with Kenzie when she bought that. We were at Goodwill and we were just looking for the most like out of pocket things. She's like looking at a bunch of different stuff. There was this giant ceramic marlin, like a giant fish. And she was going to go with that. And then she saw Peppa and she was like, good choice. This is it. This is it. <laughs> I hate it because I honestly feel like because of the size and like the weight of like the fish that you guys saw, I probably would have ended up with that. The fish is that? The, the fish. fish. Anyway, like I would have get. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Because I, I picked up the gift and I was like, oh, I like the weight of this. Yes. And that's what draw, like, drew me to it. Well, Joke's on me. Because no fish in our house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. Oh, yes. Yeah. She's scared of the fish. Mm -hmm. mm. I did end up with what Sierra gave. The lobster. Yes. Larry. Oh, yeah. Larry. 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 And what does he say? Hot and steamy. <laughs> yes. Yes. Did you get that? At I did got, get that at Goodwill. I, I did. That. Tell me about like going to Goodwill. Like you went to Goodwill for intentions of just White like, Elephant. Oh, yes. Okay. okay. Yes. That's like, so we've been doing White Elephant gift exchanges in my family for my entire life. I and so that. usually I would find something around the house. But if I don't have anything that I think is up to the standard, because like I want the laughs. Mm -hmm. Right. You know? Right. But I also want it to be coveted. Like I want right. someone to steal it. Like my White Elephant gift last year at TJ Maxx, 
and it was two frogs hugging and grabbing each other's asses. It was <laughs> I would have loved awesome. that. It was so awesome. And it did get stolen. Mm. I was like, you someone wanted the frogs playing grab ass. Yeah. Right. You, I want the frogs. Yeah, you playing want grab. everyone fighting over your gift, but not trying to give up the one you gave. Yes. Right. <laughs> like exactly. watching people right. try to get rid of your gift, you're like, oh Ow. my God. Yeah. You're, yeah, you're like, oh, okay. Right. So Anyway, oh, right. we, we are on day two of the team retreat. So, right, voices are weak, but spirits are high. We have been having an absolute blast. Yes. And we thought it would be fun to, while we have everyone in this house and we're doing a podcast here, do like little like speed dating interviews, essentially. <laughs> yes. And there's a lot of people that you guys are going to meet that you don't know, you know? I know. A couple of very special. A couple of very people. special friends. Special friends. Special friends. Special a couple of friends. friends. What's that? Did, from the Kazoo Kid video? <laughs> no one? Special friends. Jess put her hand up. I think she knows. Jess knows. You forced me to watch it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I'll make you, I'll force you next. Oh, oh, oh goody. Awesome. Great. Goody. I love that for me. <laughs> but Who yes, is our first guest? Our first guest is Rachel. So Rachel is my lovely, lovely editor, the badass bitch with the purple hair. Yes. So let's, without further ado, welcome to the hot seat, Rachel. Rachel. So, Rachel. Rachel. So Welcome, to to Welcome to the podcast. I've been it, dreaming in this moment. It's oh, fine. my God. <laughs> Give us the tea. How has the trip been? Yeah. Oh, my God. Can I swear? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I, I was like, I'm about to say fucking incredible, and I was like, I can say fucking <laughs> Yes, you can. Um, you can say it. You can okay, say it. a fucking incredible. <laughs> no, honestly. Um, I mean, I can't decide what – I think the best part – has been the food, but then I'm like, right. no, because like the hammocks, but then like, no, right. because like the hot tub. It's like, it, it just like everything is amazing. So right. it's been the best. And I had my first, my first white elephant last week. Yes. Night. Your first one ever. My first one ever. How did you enjoy that? I feel like we came out on top because we got the Boba Fett um, poster. <laughs> there, yes. Yeah, there's some so, controversy about yeah, that. Yeah, I know you guys were pissed off about there's it. There's some yeah. tension on this <laughs> yeah, couch right here. For sure, Thank for goodness, sure. there's a table separating us. <laughs> yeah, right. She's about to leap over there. But I'm not going to fight my man's battles. He can speak for himself later <laughs> Yes. <laughs> you know what? We made up in a hot tub last night because we were belting pitch perfect. And like, right. I feel like we really bonded. So oh, good. Okay. It good. was good. so funny. It was Rachel, Mario, and your Ryan singing pitch perfect, like getting all the harmonies. And Steven and Jess, who have never seen it, just like, like vibing. Yeah. Vibing. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't even know what I was doing. I was just loving every I'm moment. so sorry. Uh, I, I love it. I died. Like I one. died last night. I, I missed it. I'm yeah, sad. you just like disappeared. I was not. I was well. like, wait a minute, where's Ryan? She, <laughs> she is gone. She, yeah, yeah. So yes, Rachel is my editor. Rachel and I have been working together. You were one of the first people on my team. Yeah, it's been a long time. Long time. Weird. Did I ever tell you guys how I met Rachel and like hired her? No, give me the I tea. Don't know. So I did a series on my channel like five years. It's been like five years, right? I think when we first met, it was like 2017. Yeah, 2017. Oh, wow. I wasn't married yet, I don't think, mm. which is crazy. Or maybe I just got married. Maybe. Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah. It was a long time ago. So we, <laughs> I was doing this series on my channel called Confidence Makeover, where oh, I would yeah. cast from my audience to like come and I'd go shopping with them and we'd do like a whole makeover. And I uh, was looking through the submissions and I saw this really cool girl with purple hair. She had purple hair too then. Different wow. kind of purple. Different purple. Light purple. Lavender. <laughs> and you just were so like captivating like you were so interesting and you talked really openly about how your struggle with your you know body image and eating disorder had really changed the way that you view clothes oh, totally. and I was just like this girl is so cool I want to be her friend and also like what an amazing story to share with so many viewers who've had that same experience. Can I tell you, I like still occasionally go back and watch that video. Do it's you just really? like, it wow. just gives me good vibes. Everything about that video makes me so happy. And that day, <sighs> I remember shooting like with the team that you had at the time, and like everyone was just so, n I was so nervous. I was like, what is this gonna be? Like, I've never really met a YouTuber before. <laughs> like, right, right. what if she's totally different in real life, but you weren't? And like, everyone was so, n I just like, had the best day. Yes. And when I watch so it, I like hard. remember that. <laughs> I haven't gone back and watched it and now I really, really want to. <laughs> it's worth it. It's I, worth I it. I want to watch it. Yeah, I, look, I, I, want I remember the series, but I don't think I watched that one. The energy, in, I mean, I liked all of them, but the energy in ours was really It fun. was really fun. Yeah. <laughs> and, and a big part of the video was like, she is a professional woman. She's a boss. So like, 
how do we incorporate her like fun, edgy style into mm-hmm. like office wear? Right. Yeah. And one of the things we talked about, she's like, oh yeah, I work in post production. So if you ever decide to hire an editor, because I had never had anyone but me mm-hmm. edit my videos, she was like, I'm a viewer. I know your style, and also obviously, like I'm a professional editor. She got shot, baby. <laughs> that's so, so cool, though. She like knows that's your how you She consumed it. it, so like right. you like, already know the vibe, right. and you know what like people want. Right. That's right. so special. And it, it was pretty seamless when I started. I think like it didn't take long for me to, us to get into a groove. Yeah, it was. It was like six months later. Like I had that seed planted in my head, but I was still like, and I'm sure you guys know because you guys edit all your own stuff too. Yeah. It's like that's like your baby and yeah. you can't imagine that anyone else could get it right and I would talk to my other creator friends and they'd be like yeah you know like I've gone through like six editors because they just don't understand YouTube like to find a professional editor who understands like cutting a vlog right is so different than like a TV show oh 100% but you understood and it's also watch like, a lot of vlogs yeah <laughs> yeah you know you know Sierra's beats you yeah. know yes. like every person has their own timing and their own comedy so you are right. your beats and stuff that's right. so cool yeah. you have yeah. and then you just I was able to like ramp up my production so much because I had so much more time and like mm. you just understood oh, at the beginning, so well. yeah. There was a lot of videos going out at the beginning. I was doing two a week. That's right. And also on like the main three channel. Blo- yes. Yeah, Ugh. two a week on the main channel. So you were doing started. five videos a week. Yeah, you're crazy. I Sierra. I don't know how I did it. I don't. I really. I could not do it now. No, that's crazy. Wow. Yeah. But you. But I mean. Obviously, it paid off. Like, you have been grinding the fuck, like, forever. Like, yeah. you've been doing the damn thing. Your mother straight up this morning at breakfast was like, I mean, back when, like, we didn't have, like, a lot. We were talking about uh, uh, Vlogmas. We were talking about Vlogmas. Oh, yes. And that's how we got into the conversation with your mother. And she was like, I remember when Sierra first starting, she was doing about 80 hours a week. I was like, shut up. Yeah, there was up. a lot of content. She straight up, she There's said, 80 hours. I said, Holy goodness. She's like, yeah, I don't know how she did. I'm like, well, that's why she's right. the queen. Right. <laughs> that's just, why we're all here. That's why we're all here. I, like, I so loved it kick-ass. so much. And I I don't think I had like the vision that it could ever be this of like me getting to work with my friends and rent a freaking mansion in Palm Springs for us all to like brainstorm for the next year. Like I never could have seen that, but I just loved it so much. And so I like put in that passion time and now I kind of do get to like sit back a little bit more and work like. 25 hour weeks well you get to see the, the fruits of your labor yes. yeah like I think especially in something like, like this like last year too you were like sat down and you saw us all and we were all like mm-hmm. <laughs> you know because like you're like wow like I, I will toot your horn for you you did the damn yeah, thing you did and we're all here and have all these special connections with each other and like work and stuff because of you because of you Dang, you guys. Not seeing her crying. Oh, I know. <laughs> no. zero, zero, zero days. days zero days. Since. No, but a, a huge part of being able to grow like that was bringing Rachel on because you were like, it was just me at that time. It was me and Skylar. You and Skylar. And yeah. that was it. And so being able to have someone else to to help with and now you've you've grown into like so much more than just an editor too. I'm emotional support. <laughs> yeah, no, right, right. Pre-production, yeah, no. Pre-production all the stuff. Yeah, We've also this week been brainstorming like all the things that Rachel can do for new projects. Yeah, you guys might be seeing a lot more of me, so I hope you like the purple hair. Yeah, (laughs) the purple hair is staying. And you just got married. I just got married. Let's let's talk wedding. Oh my god! Wait, it was three months yesterday since I got married. Oh, I love that! Congrats, congrats. How's Q one of the marriage? Q one of the marriage is (laughs) top notch. Top notch. We've been together for seven years, but I will say, like the last three months have felt like. The honeymoon period all over again. You know? Oh my god! Yeah, I mean, it's I disgusting. That. We're obsessed with each other, and I it's gross. It. And I love him, and it's just gross. Like what? I'm with a man. No, honestly, I have it's embarrassing. About it, but like, no, no, no. I feel this. It's I'm, embarrassing, but I love him. No, but right. Like, what? No, I, yeah, no. It's it's. <laughs> but mom, I love him. Right. <laughs> I, get it, I get it. I get it. I love that. No, it's amazing. And see, you were at the wedding. I was. It was. I. Everyone is so annoyed with me because I will not shut up about how beautiful. <laughs> And emotional and sweet their wedding was. Like, really, Ugh. I just, you felt that love and that and that connection. And, I mean, not to, like, be this person, but I do think sometimes you go to a wedding and you're like, oh, they, like, they're getting married to get married, you know? Right, like, are they in love? Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> the, oh, know? this is the next step, is in like the, step in the relationship. The relationship. The relationship. Yeah. But with you two, it was so clear that this was something you guys wanted to do purely out of love oh, yeah. and affection and a – that you don't need that to spend your life together, but you just love each other so much that you want to do that and spend your life together. Oh, I'm glad that was the impression. That's definitely how we feel. And 
I I mean, we're very biased, but it was like the best day of our lives. So when we hear that other people had a good time, we're like, oh, thank God. Oh, I had a blast. <laughs> love that. I, I, first of all, it was my first time meeting your parents and I oh, God. freaking love your parents. <laughs> They're an interesting character. They're awesome. And your friends, we were at such a fun table too. Listen, oh. I watched a vlog and I was like, this is lit. Like, uh, <laughs> lit. I FOMO so for fun. sure. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm almost done with the wedding video. So you guys can all watch it. Yeah. Yes. Do we get sent like screeners in the mail? Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. For, like, for yes. like Oscars. Yes. For like the Oscars. Yeah. 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 You can get my For Your Consideration DVD of yes. my wedding. Well, yes. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> DVD or Blu ray. Yeah. <laughs> so, in addition to editing for me, you also have your own channel. Which you've been doing for a really, really long time. I do. I just got it demonetized. <laughs> no. no. Because I took a six-month break. And apparently, if you do that, they take your monetization away. I didn't know that. But anyway. Well, yes. go to Rachel's channel. Link in the description. Yeah. Um, get that monetization back. I am yes. doing a version of Vlogmas right now. But um, yeah. No, I've had my channel since 20. 20- 16, I think, because I originally started it when I like I was like a year out of recovery from anorexia and I had like learned all this information and I felt like my life had been changed by a lot of content that I had consumed on YouTube and like the internet at that time. And so I was like, I can contribute because it happened. I did it. I recovered. And that's how it all started. And then I got really popular with the recovery stuff. But I've been recovered now for Seven years and wow, congrats. No, <laughs> it's seriously. really good. And as wow. we all know, I'm fine because I literally ate like six cupcakes last night. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and so I've, a couple of years ago, I just stopped doing eating disorder stuff. And I've just been doing my own thing. And it's been fun. Rachel Rambles. Yeah. Rachel, Rachel Rambles. Rambles. I remember when we came up with that. I know. We were at, at Disneyland. Disneyland. <laughs> We were in you line. guys came up with that? Yeah. yeah. So we, were cool. in, we were in line and Rachel was talking about how, you know, she's been recovered for so long and she feels like she's ready to do more yeah, yeah, yeah. than just that, mm-hmm. you know? And you were talking about how that's like such a small part of your actual life right. now, yeah. but almost all of your content. And so we were like, okay, if it's not going to be ladle by ladle, because that was her channel, mm. what's it going to be? And we're just brain, we were, do you remember what ride we were in line for? Hold on. Jungle, Jungle Cruise. Cruise. Yes. yes. <laughs> I totally remember this. And and we're like, okay, what's it going to be? And I'm like, you know, I think what's just so cool about you is just how well-spoken you are, how much you talk. Like, you're so fun to talk to. We're like, Rachel, Rachel talks. Rachel babbles. <laughs> Rachel <laughs> rambles. Rachel rambles. It was so perfect. No, and I, I love it. I love Rachel rambles. I was getting really tired of ladle by ladle. Yeah. <laughs> what was the meaning behind that? Ladle by ladle. By ladle. Mm-hmm. Um, when I was still sick, I was encouraged by my therapist to like, because I like internet stuff. And I was like into blogging and I was really into Tumblr at the time. Right. And so she was like, you should do recipes and like force yourself to bake and like things that were like interact you with food that, you know, you'll enjoy and it'll be a positive experience. So I started a blog, like a WordPress blog called Ladle by Ladle because I was looking for like a pun. <laughs> I was like walking around my kitchen, literally like picking things up, trying to make puns out of them. And I picked up a ladle and I was like, Little by little, like, you know, recovery, yeah. but, like, little by little. Oh, okay. Yeah. Really I nice. love that. Yeah. Wow. But I got sick of it. And now it's Rachel Ramble. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Listen, we love a rebrand. Yeah, it's a total rebrand. We love that. <laughs> well, uh, in addition to talking to Ms. Rachel here. Oh, I cannot call you Ms. Rachel. That is that Ms. Is a Rachel. Ms. Rachel. That's a, that's that a is a different Ms. Rachel. <laughs> Uh, okay, guys. <laughs> can you say White Claw? <laughs> white Claw. <laughs> um, but we are also going to be interviewing your oh, lovely husband. husband. Yes. So when we talk to him, is there any any spicy questions we should ask him? Uh, oh, my God, yeah. yeah. Oh, God. I'm, like, terrified. Because he is a ham, and he pretends that he hates this. But he loves this. <laughs> oh, So good. he's going to come in here, like, too cool for school. But then he'll showboat the hell out of this. Actually, I have to come watch it. because yes. like, No, you should. <laughs> you got to sit in. He'll go real off the rails. You need to humble he'll him. He'll go real off the rails. <laughs> <laughs> he did. That's so funny. Okay, well, I hope Steven he does. and Mario together, oh, they're just, like, no, two, they're two honey-baked hams wrapped together. <laughs> that is them. Not their like romantic photo shoot they had yesterday after our photo shoot. I know. They were no I was way. like, this is this is like a more beautiful romantic yeah. photo shoot than I've ever had. I love seeing boys in love. Me too. I love it. Like I seeing do. all the guys. All the boys, oh my all the God. boys on this yeah. trip. It's oh, so sweet. So sweet. Well, thank you for joining us, oh, Rachel. You're so welcome. We have to have you on for like a full episode. Oh, totally. I love you. That'd be yeah. super fun. Absolutely. Whenever. Keep rambling. Keep, oh, yeah. yes. keep rambling. <laughs> Just Ramble give me a microphone. I'll keep going, going, going. <laughs> like we mentioned before, subscribe to her channel. It'll be linked below. Rachel Rambles. Ew. I'm going to go edit all of our TikToks. Ooh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I can't wait to see. All right, friends. And our next guest, the lovely, our resident Gen Z, Jaden. 
Jaden. Little Hello. baby Jaden. Baby Jaden. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Jaden. Oh. Hey, how's it going? It's going great. Great. How are you? Good. It's I'm great. Are you happy to be here? <laughs> I'm so happy to be here. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. Dream house. Dream. Yes, yes. Jaden is the newest member of the team. I didn't realize that until I was just thinking that. I'm like, Jaden's the newest member. Oh, really? Oh, true. Because Jaden started working with us right after Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah. Oh. Because I said, Sierra, you need a background person? She goes, oh, yeah, like maybe that could work. And I think Brian wasn't available one day. She it was Kenzie. Oh, my gosh. Oh. And Sierra DM'd me. <gasps> and I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh my God, like me? And she's like, can you like help with the shoot? And I was like, yeah, called my friend. I said, sorry, we can't hang out. Right, right. And I literally showed up at her house and I was like, okay, I'm ready for this. You were there in like an hour because it was, so we were going to go do a shoot for the main channel. Okay. And Jaden literally the week before at Super Bowl Sunday, because she was at my house, at my parents' house was like, hey, like if you ever need an extra hand, a background person, like always happy to step in. So I was like already in the back of my mind. Who can be here in an hour? Mm Mm-hmm. Reliable, Jaden, yeah. and then yeah. I literally think we've worked together every week since then. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Wow, you've been an, an incredible addition to the team. I get so yeah. excited uh, when well, we show up, and uh, I'm like, "Is Jaden here?" Though. Well, first off, I have to say that I we knew each other before. Yeah. Yes. yes, we used to do theater together. Yeah, we so did. We used to, so Ryan and I actually did theater with Jaden back in the days. Like we did right. Legally Blonde, yeah. Adam's Family, like all those yeah. ones. We lo- like Jaden was there, and yes. I, was, I was just telling Sierra that I was going through footage, and I found like little Jaden in one of them. I was like, I need to share this clip. With I the love team. that because <laughs> there she was in her ancestor outfit. Oh right. my gosh, so, it's so crazy to think that like years later after theater we right like, the yeah. circles. And I remember being like, so remember Jaden yeah. like from theater, and you're like. My queen. Like little Jaden? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Always yeah. little Jaden. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. And I was like, well, she works for Sierra now. And she's like, blew my mind. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it my blew mind. my mind. Are you kidding me? And then we showed up and we're like, like, hey, back at it again. Yeah. yeah. Was oh. that weird? Like finding out that like Ryan and I were also on the team, like with Sierra. Yeah. Like you guys did a shoot together when you were in New York. And I knew oh, Ryan. Yes. And so I DM'd Ryan because you like were like, oh, with Sierra Schultz. And I slid up and said, Ryan. How do you know her? I was like, oh my god, I totally this is crazy. remember I was like, that. Her best fr- or her brother is dating my sister. I was like, yes. this is a whole thing, right? And then I, yeah. I totally remember that. That was like in like yeah. twenty eighteen oh, or something. Pull the receipts, right. yeah, it happened. I can remember that. <laughs> That's the thing about the San Diego theater world is it is small. so yeah. small. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I guess we should give that background. So Jaden was a viewer of my channel, so yeah. she came to the live show. So I met Jaden. She yes. came to the meet and greet. She went to the live show. She oh, did. Yes. That's so that. awesome. Oh, but we yes. also like oh, we had yes. a lot of like mutual family friends. Yeah. So like we kind of also like knew each other. Okay. Yeah. And then her older sister is dating my little brother. So now we're like family. I exactly. love that. They're in love. Oh, They're like so in big love. Big time love. It's adorable. It's kind of like gushy and gross. Right, but right. Like it's cute. Uh, it's, yeah. it's, they've been together for like two years. I'm like, how are you still in the honeymoon stage? Yeah. Aww. But that's like. But it's cute. green flag. Yeah, it is a green flag. Green flag. There are green flags all around. I'm obsessed with them. I, I know, love that. <laughs> we love love. And she's like, and now and that's, me and, and that's Sierra why are sisters. We, yes, that's yeah. why we were together at Super Bowl Sunday. Exactly. And that's why now we're here. I love that. Yeah, and Jaden, way to like do like the little slip in. And by the way, if you ever need me, girl. Way to like, shoot that, your oh, shot. You didn't, like what if you wouldn't have? If like, you, it was Sierra I never know. thought of you. Yeah. And that's where I'm always like, put your foot in the door. Yeah. Right. Because yeah. you never know. Because you never know. Just yeah. like Rachel. Just like Rachel. Yes. Same, same vibe. I love that. Just like Paloma coming to last year's retreat. Right, oh right. Oh my gosh, we're like, all just like slithery snakes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't call us that. But. You're like, okay, well, <laughs> but tea, but tea, and but maybe maybe that's image. a reoccurring thing with your team. Perhaps we're all just yeah. kind of like, hey, you if need you ever need like, anything, I mean, I've I said that before. Like, if you need whatever, and I was living in New York, and you would hit me New up. York. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, and and if you hadn't said that, I may not have thought. Oh, you know, we're looking for someone to work on the Instagram for Confident and Kind. Oh yeah, Ryan's top of mind. Right. This is your sign to shoot your shot. Yes. Always Literally, allow yeah. them to say no. And don't get in your own way. Yeah. Always shoot your shot. Jess is also here because she shot her shot. What she a had queen. a mutual friend who was working for me and wow. was like, hey, if you ever need another hand. And she came and did, we did a podcast episode with Patrick Starr. Oh, and we needed I, someone to come oh, with it. us to do the setup. Right. And Jess had worked with a lot of audio equipment, a lot of theater equipment. And she came and we vibed and there it is. And here we are. Yeah. Queen Jess. Crazy. So, I love it. Jaden. Back to back to Jaden. <laughs> back to, Jayden. Oh, back to little baby oh. Jaden. As our resident Gen Z. Oh. We need that. you to tell us 
this was not planned. I just thought of this. Okay. What what are like the millennial cringe things about us? Like what are the things like you know I <gasps> I see people say like that millennials oh. like slant the text on their Instagram stories and like that's cringe. no I got it. Like what are those little it. things you, you have got on it? Me? Yeah, okay. I actually do. She has the she's gonna for, read us right yeah. now. She has the X for no, millennial. but it's like it's a group. It's an all thing. It's okay. not like individual. It's calling out Gen Z. She's so right. Oh my god, that's you're such a right. millennial thing to do. Like it's, mm. and, but it's not even just like, oh, you guys in this age group. Like it's like Gen Z, and we are millennial. Like it's such it's a the divide. Labels. Wow. But I find myself as a millennial. I'm not. Okay, we'll check the records. I'm not. Like it's fine. <laughs> but in my brain, I'm like, right. I'm a millennial. Like more millennial. Yeah. But yeah, you guys are like you Gen Zers. I'm like, what? Because I can be on Instagram with one hand, like hold my phone, <laughs> text with one hand. It's like, what is going on? We do, we do call it out but, a lot. But yeah. on, to be honest, I think it's because we get so much slander for like millennials think that <laughs> no, this is cool. True. So I'm like, you, all you so do is talk about So tell me if it's us. cool or not. So I thought that we were being chatted about, but now I guess we're- We're just, the ones chatting. We're each we're, talking shit about each other. Yeah. Are you guys it's the cool. boomers now? <gasps> Don't ever. <laughs> Let that leave your lips like, that's again. I am Turn Gen the Z. Turn off right now. We <laughs> watch the BuzzFeed quiz. I'm Gen Z. I don't slant my text on Instagram. That's some <laughs> yeah, shit. I don't do that. Wait, what is that? What is like that? Like slanting the text. Like does writing it. the text. And then like, you know how you can move the text around? Yeah. yeah. It's like well, slanting it. Like, Diagonally. I didn't even think about. Do that. you do that? <laughs> no, 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 no. I make it. Very she's easy. like goes back. She's, she's like, oh my god. She's like, she's like, oh my archive, god. archive, archive. I'm so stressed. That and boomerangs. Well, boomerangs is something that boomerangs. I boomerangs. Yeah, that's so. Done. I we all look at you. I know you guys are all looking at me. She loves. But it's, why? I. You know what? I'm holding because on to like, boomerangs for one thing. What? Cheers. cheers. Okay. You can. Only, I only do a boomerang if it's a cheers. That's so millennial. Is it? Know. Yeah. What? What should it be? Like a blurry photo, like just, Gen Z would. Just, like yeah. a video, or don't just let it. A don't photo. go back. And b- and b- just be like. Done. Or just a You're photo. So funny have everyone. Do, sorry, do I just want a blurry photo? They're like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. Art. 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 Exactly. exactly. It's abstract. It is. Right, right. Yeah. Picasso. <laughs> right? That's making me think of the painting in the house that we have to bring up to Steve. <laughs> oh my God, the one downstairs? Uh, yeah, There's yeah. this painting downstairs, and Steven's like, just what go. is this? He's, what is this? This looks like a toddler dinner. Blah, blah, blah. And then was it Rachel that just goes, well, it's art and it's making you think. So and you've been talking about it. Talking about it for ten, minutes. It for 10 yeah. minutes. Whoa! <laughs> right, and that's on art. Oh my god! It's like so, you're sitting here talking about the boomerangs. I think boomerangs are art, then, because yeah. look, it's a conversation starter. Okay. <laughs> well, when you put anything in that context, yeah, yeah right, okay. <laughs> right, right, right. Got me there. <laughs> I'm like, they're, they're always talking shit about me. Art, art. I am art. Right. Art. You just like walk by. You're like, I know that they give me. I'm art. Art. You're like what? <laughs> Just before we sat down and we're filming, we were just chit-chatting with Jaden about like, we were talking about like clothing stores because we were all talking about like how cool Limited 2 was. Oh, right. And then we're like, Jaden, what was like the Limited 2 when you were in middle school? Yeah. And it was like Brandy Melville was like the go-to. I feel like that's so much more intimidating than Limited 2. Well, a hundred percent. I feel like, well, back in Limited 2 days, we were wearing like frilly like skirts, like 45 layers, like sequins everything brandy Miller is literally like a white crop top in denim shorts and yeah. also one size yeah, yeah. that's yeah. it which is like so hard for everybody like everybody was schooler. wearing the same thing it was yeah. literally like black leggings probably lulu and then <laughs> like the same it was like a baby blue top from brandy melville or it was like the i don't even remember exactly but it was just like these random like baby t-shirts and i was like oh how did you go okay. into these like stores? Like personally, the first time I walked into a Brandy Melville, yeah. I was super aware. Like I was like, I felt like honestly, like adjusting yeah. myself, like looking around, and like the younger girls were like looking at me, and I was like, oh, I'm just old, I guess. Like this is weird. But <laughs> right. So how did that feel like going into Brandy Melville like at that age? It's weird. Like you walk in, you know the vibes. It's like when you walk into Hollister, like we kind of mm. mentioned before. Like yeah. you walk into Hollister, it's just like shady. Like you're yeah. like, mm, like, like certain people judged. are supposed to be here. Like, right. It, it's, it's, it's exclusive. Weird. Yeah. But we can't say that. Exactly. Right. Mm. But is that because they hire just like 16 year olds like that are already like insecure? We're already like right. feeling a type of way, you know? Right. And, like, yeah. 
being the person to greet people. I don't think so because, right, because teenagers work at, like, every store. Like, you worked at Aeropostale. Yes, yes, And yes. And they trained you to say, hello, welcome to Aeropostale. <laughs> That's right? true, though. No, you're so They're, right about They could have trained the Hollister girlies and the Brandy Melville girlies. Hello, welcome to Brandy Melville. But, no, it's aggressively folding shirts. <laughs> right. Hey, if you're lucky. And, like, yeah, yeah maybe not even acknowledging you at yeah. all. Yeah, no. The way they would ask for help, I swear some people would be like, you need help? Like, do you, they're telling you. They're <laughs> telling you. Like, do you need help. Real, like, it's not a question. Yeah. You need, you need help. Yeah. It's like, like a rhetorical you question. Need like, help. there's only one right answer. Right. <laughs> Jane's wow. like, I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Super not fun in that place. Right. But like, Tilly's. Oh, you would chop at Tilly's instead? Yeah. Vibes. Because like, they would do similar stuff. And I was like, it's better. Right. Where, where do you shop now? Target, Amazon. Right. right. That's about it. Right. Yeah. Your closet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's yep. where most of the things come from. I do, I do love a closet clean out. I'm yeah. like, I'm getting some it's hoodies. It's Christmas for everyone. It literally oh, yes. is. Except that now that I'm not really doing, or I've been on the break for the main channel and I'm not really doing like a lot of fashion stuff, like I have not bought new clothes in a long time. Like it's just if I get something for like a sponsorship. So it's like, it's it's slowed down. Well, let's go shopping. Closet. I said, what let's pick that back up. Let's pick that back up. Do you, can pre- do you that. prefer going into the stores or do you prefer just ordering online? I now, at the size that I am, very few stores have clothes that I can wear. Mm. So I kind of have to shop online. Yeah. Especially if I want actually stuff in my style. Like I might go into a store and there's like two things in my size and I'm like, I don't I like either like of that. these. Right. Yeah. yeah. So online now. What about you guys? I like online because I don't like shopping. Mm. Collagen lights are just a lot. Right. <laughs> I'd rather just like lights. look it up. Legally Blonde. Oh my I gosh. The, the halogens. I remember that skin. one rehearsal in Legally Blonde where you s- tried to say halogens. It didn't come out. You're like, halogen. Are you excited? Oh, wait, I totally the way remember I said that. Halogens, I'm, I'm on totally, the internet, Dude, Jaden? I'm pretty sure I have a video of it. I'm oh, not gonna lie. You need Get to find it. I me. totally remember like, that. I will. I remember that. I remember and being like, I, I hello. Out. I didn't know how to say what it. What did she say? Uh, she, she, I don't she was like, she. Halogens. Like, like, she just didn't know what the word was, but she was like reading it, I think. So she just like phonetically like said it. And it was not right. And I, oh. we were like, hello. And there was baby Jaden getting the footage. Like, yeah, Jaden was like, <laughs> look at this stupid uh, L. The yeah. her on a podcast 15 years <laughs> so later. Funny. She's like, look at that girl. Don't yeah. know how to speak. Yeah. That's oh my so gosh. funny. That is so funny. You have to send that. Yeah, oh, I yeah, you simply It's have somewhere to find down it. in Snapchat. <laughs> I, love I love that. that. So Jaden, before you go. Yes. Two questions. Number one, how's the retreat been? So fun. Your first Schultz retreat. So fun. What is interesting about this though, like specifically this house in this area though, Last night, our neighbors, if I can call them out. Call them out. Two in the morning, acting like wolves. All of a sudden, I was like what? down there on sleeping. And right. all, all I hear outside is like howling. But really? from a human. Jess was there for a second. Yeah. I, I got on video. Like we're talking, ow, ow, Like ow. literally like howling. And it wasn't like once. At 2 a.m.? Oh, yeah. And it. Literally wasn't once. It was multiple times. And I was like, do I join you? Like, are you trying to get a pack together? <laughs> right. Like, I right. was so confused. Okay. But other than the howling, like, super fun. <laughs> <laughs> Love everyone. And, like, getting the time to bond with everybody is so fun. Yeah. It's fun, too, especially with the people who work remote. Because, like, we're in office all exactly. the time. With Jess and sometimes Kenzie. Yeah. But, like, Tara exactly. and Rachel and Mario, like, we're not with them all the time. Yeah. So it's fun to. Yeah. Right. Super fun. Other. Yeah. Okay. Second question. Give us, like, a Jaden fun fact. Like, what's, what's something that, like, the audience would maybe not expect about you? Fun fact? Fun or just, fact. Like, or just a fact. A fact. It doesn't have to be fun. Oh. <laughs> my go-to, okay, only because this was, like, my thing since I was 13. Because I thought it was just, like, aha. But it's not. <laughs> right. Oh, I love that. So, I think you guys actually already know this. Give it to us. But I would just, like, anytime somebody would ask, like, do a fun fact, I was, like, my doctor told me I have a back of a 75-year-old. <laughs> oh, my God. Because it's true. Oh, right. That's a fact. It's yeah. not fun. It's not fun. But it but is it's a, a fact. fact. <laughs> that's when we were at Disneyland, you were like, man, I really want to go on the Matterhorn, but I just don't know if I can do that yeah. to my back today. I call it the Backbreaker 101 because I will break my back again. <laughs> it's just um, again. But is it yeah. worth it? How many it times have you broken it. your back? It was like once. Oh, okay. But it was like a consistent, like a piece of my... Okay, is this like graphic? I don't know. Get it. Get it. Morning. It. I don't know. But like <laughs> a piece of my spine like chipped off. So it was next to my spine. And then oh my, my disc, I had two di- bulging discs. 
which are still like wonky. And then I have mild scoliosis. How old were you when that happened? So I was like 12 or 13, but it oh, still affects me. Oh yeah. My God. Dude, I'm Jayden. so sorry. I didn't even no, know No, it's that. fine. Okay? I knew you had no, because, like a bad back, but I didn't know that yeah. a piece of it chipped off. Oh, yeah. But they were like, we could do surgery, but like if we go, it might like hit a nerve. And I was like, no. That's scary. Right. No, yeah. But then they were like, okay, well, just let us know if you feel any tingling in your arms or your legs or if you go numb. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Did that make you like paranoid? Like yeah. you feel like your arm would fall asleep? Oh yeah, I like, would be sitting in class yeah. and I'd be like, okay, all right. And I was like, <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> okay. But yeah, super trippy. But I had to like quit soccer, I quit gymnastics. So then that's how I got into musical theater. Oh. Was because I could sing and I could do a little jig. But like, <laughs> <laughs> a little jig. Other than that. Right. Yeah, so that's wow. a fun little story time, I guess, fact. I love that. That. Well, thanks for joining us, Jaden. Thanks for having me. You're, oh, oh you gosh. are just like such a fun person to be around. Oh my like, God, yeah. Yes. Like I said, as soon as you hired Jaden, I was like, where's Jaden? She just is so lively. Oh yeah. She brings gosh. so much life into you, your room. You bring a youthfulness to the office. No because you're to the rest right. of us. Gen Z, Gen Z, Gen Z, Gen Z, Gen Z, Gen Z. Okay. I'm we love you. That. No, I love you guys. <laughs> yeah, I love you, Jaden. All right, our next guest is the other half to Rachel. We have Mario. The better Whoa. half, thank Whoa. you. Oh, oh he's hamming oh. it already. She said you wow. were going to ham. Wow. She did warn us about this. <laughs> she did. She did. Oh, I just light up in front of a camera. <laughs> <laughs> and behind a camera. Yeah, that is true. You, just cameras? Just Cameras, yeah, cameras bring out the best of me. Uh, <laughs> microphones bring out the worst. <laughs> Thank you. I'm honored to be here as a aspiring twenty whatever myself. Mm, yeah, it, did. Oh. it came to our attention that yes, you are in you're fact thirty. Not a I'm a thirty whatever, whatever but okay. I might grow up to be a twenty whatever. <laughs> Listen, we welcome all, all are ages. Welcome here. Yes, all ages. ages for the young and young at heart. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so okay, perfect place to start. Mm. Mario, that is. Your, am I? I'm. We, no. no. <laughs> we have tried so hard, so hard. Yeah. Because it's not Mario. It could be Mario. Mario. Mario's okay. What do you mean it could be? I thought be. It, that was it, an it, option. It either is or it's not. Mario's not. So I grew up in, in New York City yep. with a very strong Italian New York family. We're always talking like this. And so <laughs> and so it's not Mario, it's Mario. Mario. Right. Mario. Mario. And so I've lost pretty much most of my accent unless I start drinking too much. <laughs> right. But the way you said Mario was No, that really was really Yeah, but good. like my name is my name. And so like it was just always Mario. Right. Mario. Uh, but yeah. obviously most people outside of a very small section of the Northeast can't say that. So if somebody says Mario, mm -hmm. how do you feel? Totally cool. Okay. Yeah. But we got to, but if we really want to do it, Rachel's shaking her head. She says, no, it's not actually cool. We got to hit it with the Mario. And Mario. Mario. Yeah. All right. Say, uh, say Apple. 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 Is that A? Ah, ma. Ah, oh, Mario. Mario. Not, Mario. not Mario. 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 Now, is this there is like. Mario. Just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was fighting everything not to do that. I'm so sorry. Is there like a pinnacle New York sentence that we can put your name into that just and do the whole New York accent? Mm. <sighs> Forget about it, Mario. That pizza's garbage. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, one, okay. More one more time. One more time. One more time. I'm, I'm, I'm studying. It's a character study. All right. Um, oh, the same sentence? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. All right, all right. Uh, forget about it, Mario. That pizza's garbage. All right, who's going first? Forget about it, Mario. That pizza's garbage. <laughs> nah, see? Nah. Can you, can you rate us out of 10 okay. on, on how well we're doing this? I knew I was going to yeah, be the wait. worst. Uh, that's a uh, Humphrey Bogart out of 10. Okay. I went first, so I feel brave. <laughs> um, now I don't want to do it. <laughs> That's why now I'm nervous. Okay. okay. Are you going to go? No, you go. You go. You go. I think I forgot the sentence, but I'm going I'm to improvise it. <laughs> Forget about it, Mario. That pizza's garbage. Ah. Good. That's, uh, that's a, a seven and a half out of ten. Oh, oh period. Yes. The way you hit garbage was nice. Garbage. And that was a good okay. one. All right. The, All hand, right. the hands really sold it, too. It's, it's the hands. Yeah. Okay. Forget about it, Mario. The pizza's garbage. <laughs> Little Boston. You leaned a little Boston. Uh, mm, a little too Boston. Mm, yeah, but the attitude mm. was right. The attitude was right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So I was the best. Yeah. Period. In your family, is it huge? The hands, like big, mm -hmm. always the hands. The hand. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, I mean, I have, to, I have to sometimes calm myself. I've hit things. I've hit stuff out of people's hands just conversating. With right. Them. Conversating? Talking with them. Conversing. Conversing. <laughs> Thank you. That is a word. Um, yeah, it's the senility of the being a 30-something. Uh, uh, <laughs> right. But like, it's not a thing when I was growing up that I was 
conscious of or aware of. It's more like once I left that environment, people would point it out. I, when I was 14, I went to a like a leadership nerd camp down in Maryland. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was called it was nerd, that? It was nerd, nerd camp. camp. Nerd camp. I love that. Um, and uh, it was the first time I'd been out of New York with like peers my age, like since I think since the first time, yeah. And people just started calling me New York. Like, no one knew my name. They just knew me as New York because I was still 14. My accent was still really strong. And I would, like, I'd be like a zoo creature. They would come up to me (laughs) and be like, say air conditioner or say (laughs) mozzarella just to hear my accent. Right. Like, it was a... Say mozzarella. I was going to say, can you? The way it... Mozzarella. Mozzarella. Do air conditioning. so smooth. I know. Do air conditioning. Well, now I would say air conditioning. <laughs> we're just oh. we're, now, we're no better than the kids at no, your camp. Yeah, we're the same. We're doing with the accent. Be air conditioner. Air conditioner. Air conditioner. Yeah, that does something. Now I see that, Rachel. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but Rachel, I get it. I get it. The I get it. it. I get I it. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When we were in the hot tub last night, Rachel was talking about how she has an uh, unhealthy attraction to Dwight Schrute because it's the uh, bearded man with a big forehead, and I've never seen Maria look more offended. Very offended, yeah. The beard is one. It was more the the really big forehead. <laughs> I pride uh, myself on my average size You're like, forehead. the Dwight Schrute? Right. I'll take that. I could be a beat farmer. The big forehead? Cross That's the line. That's where I yeah, draw the line, right there. <laughs> yeah, I have a much better haircut than Dwight Schrute, so. I, would, I agree. Thank tea, you. Thank tea. you. Rachel, that was honestly rude. And this is why I was the better half. Ah, T, 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 T. So, um, we didn't really plan. We didn't even introduce you really. Yeah, like, yeah, what do you, we even, do, what do, you like, even do here? Say things. Say funny things. <laughs> dance, monkey. Yeah. <laughs> say air conditioner. <laughs> Just like the kids in school. <laughs> Just like the kids at nerd camp. So, Mario, Mar- Mario'd to Rachel. That yes. was their wedding hashtag. Yeah, yeah. Rachel, Rachel got married. Oh, Rachel cute. got married. Uh, that was three months ago yesterday. Yes. We asked her yes. for a, a Q1 analysis of the marriage. What's yours? Uh, fiscally, for me, <laughs> way up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah. god! <laughs> Fiscal year's looking great. Off the Off charts. T- <laughs> yeah. This is gonna be a good 2023. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's on. We've been together about seven years now. Um, obviously most of that before we got married, and we had, I think we learned how to live together really well beforehand, and so it's not tremendously different, other than cheddar. <laughs> right. Yeah. And you and Rachel are such a great duo, obviously, just as a couple, but also like professionally, because you both work in production. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about oh, so obviously you edit for me, the kind of you step in for vlogs whenever you have time. Mm-hmm. Um and you always add that little Mario space. Yeah, everyone can always tell when, when you're you editing that. Yeah, I do. I I will uh it's a good ego boost. I go into the comments and be like, yeah. I can see that Mario edited this one. Yeah. <laughs> I was like Mind you, I like all them. Yeah. <laughs> so, so funny. when when you're too busy with your other job to add the Mario flair, right. what is your other job? I have two other jobs. So my my main job is I work at a, a camera house in Los Angeles called Otto Nemmons, where uh, not to get into the nitty gritty, but basically we have different movies, TV shows, commercials, music videos will come to us, and we give them all the stuff they need to shoot it. So their cameras, their lenses, their different video accessories, yada 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 yada. Um, and then I split my time between that and I also work in the camera department on Grey's Anatomy like maybe two days a week or so. On Grey's so Anatomy. Cool. That is so cool. So cool. Are you a fan of Grey's Anatomy? I When I started working on it, no, I never watched it. Uh, but okay. I, yeah. I just, I was an ER boy and Grey's Anatomy felt That's fair. derivative. Yeah. So I, was I do have a question. D-Loy. When they were like, before you worked on that, did they like ask you if you knew about Grey's Anatomy or did it matter? Oh, no, no. They were like, you were like, Honestly, no, not really. Honestly, most... <laughs> Because when you're working on something, you're seeing the sausage get made. And so right. it's a hard thing to then watch the finished product because it, it takes away the, the suspense of disbelief because you, mm. you see those actors. Like, you know, the, like Meredith Grey, I met Island Pompeo. I, I, so it's tough to see her as, as Meredith Grey. But when we, I did, did start working on it, Rachel is a huge Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> and uh, so she, was, she sat me down. was like, all right, now you're working on it. You have to watch it. And so we are now almost finished with the third season. And I am really into it. Oh, oh. yes. Okay. Is, is, do you watch the episodes that you've worked on? Like, are, are you waiting? To no, I'm, wa- I'm waiting. Okay. I mean, which would be a lot because they're on season they're, 19. I'm now. like, oh, there's a million a seasons. It's still through. going. Wow. Yeah. So you were talking about how seeing the sausage get, get made kind of removed some of the mystique. 
Is there any mm. little tidbit about that, the sausage making process that would just really like surprise us? Uh, I'll, I guess I'll, two things. One is, so when I, we met, Rachel and I met working on NCIS New Orleans and uh, my mom and my sister came down to visit us on set one day and we were shooting a scene. It was actually, it was like a, an action scene where there were cops who were like pulling around the corner really fast and driving up and doing a bust in this like, probably like a drug house or something. Every episode was a drug house. In NCIS. <laughs> and uh, so it's an exciting scene, but it takes what may be 30 seconds or a minute in the episode takes about four hours to shoot. Wow. And so they got, they were excited to come to set and then about an hour into it, they were like, we're bored. <laughs> we're <gonna Yeah>. be, <laughs> because we're just shooting the same thing over and over and over yeah. again from a bunch yeah. of different angles. So that's something that people I don't think quite understand is how like one page of a script and most TV shows, especially on like network are about how long, like how long is a, like 60 pages an episode or so. Yeah. And so that takes 60 hours to shoot. Jeez. Yeah, so and then there's like that yeah. holding for like getting the different camera angles and everything, right? Mm -hmm. And and that's where I'm like, I could never be like a screen actor. Yeah. Like as a stage actor, you do it once. Yeah. And yeah. then you come back the next day and you do it once again. But can you imagine like doing like a really emotionally draining scene on stage and then over they're like, and over. all right, uh, now we're going to reset, do it from another angle and do it like 18 times. Right. Mm -hmm. No That's way. a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the other thing is, I think people don't understand like how you might if you go to a movie and you stay after the credits, or say after the movie ends, you're watching the credits and you see how many people are on it. That's probably the only time people can see how many people it takes to make something. It's right. not like you watch the Oscars or anything. All the awards are like mostly given to actors. You get a screenwriter, you get a director in there, but for every one actor, there's 15 other people who are working a lot harder than them right. to make right. that show work. Yeah. It's very different than theater where a lot of it gets carried by the actors too because yep. they're on stage and you know you have your lighting set and everything but the actual performance is made by the actors. In movies or in TV, so much of the performance is made by people around the actors. Right. Yeah. You know. That's fascinating. It is. Yeah. I it feel is. like I I could do just a whole podcast of just asking you all of my burning questions about totally. movie and TV. TV. Totally, is what I meant to say. Um, TV came out instead. So. And yesterday, you were telling us about your hot takes about 3D as, <laughs> as a self-proclaimed movie yeah. star. Wow. You want this to turn into an hour long? <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, but yeah, so I it came up in the context of Avatar because Avatar 2 is coming out soon and I will not be seeing Avatar 2. Okay. Uh, spicy. So, sorry if Avatar 2 is a sponsor of 20-whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, suck it, James Cameron. <laughs> uh, I didn't see Avatar 1 either because Avatar 1 was sort of the poster child for that 3D movement that was really big at the time mm -hmm. and is sort of endured. And I just find that 3D takes away from the artistry of it, which doesn't matter to probably like 90% of people who are going to go see that stuff. They don't, they're not there for artistry. They're there for a story or something. Right. right. But cinematography is essentially like our evolution of painting and portraiture, you know, going back into the Middle Ages. It's just, I like having that idea of having a two-dimensional frame where you're creating illusion of depth and creating stuff in that confine as opposed to having stuff come out you. I think that detracts from the perspective, it detracts from the analysis of it, right. and it just becomes more, definitely becomes more of an immersive experience. Um, but then I think you, get distracted by that a little bit and you lose not only focus on what we call the missing scene, the, the composition of a frame, but the dimensionality and the characters and the and the complex, hopefully complex emotional interaction and, and just like, ooh, something's coming at me. <laughs> right. Yeah. I feel that so much because I saw actually the the new Thor one, the Thunder in four D actually. So I even mm. had like water and air and the sheet the the chairs were shaking that I couldn't even enjoy it fully like I couldn't right. watch it. I could I literally could not even watch it because I'm right. being thrown around it was more <laughs> of like a ride than it yeah. was like and I so I, I think I missed yeah. out and I have to rewatch it yeah. it's an experience it's a mm. it's a fun experience but um and there are some movies where that works and yeah I think there are other things there's a you know there's internet beef between people like Scorsese and Tarantino and a lot of these Marvel fans, mm. even though I think Scorsese and Tarantino are making good points, which is like those are fun, those are, it's it's good and and healthy to go there and have fun and enjoy that, but leave room also for 
more refined, refined palette. I, I, yeah, yeah, I've been yeah. saying. I, I'm trying to not sound pretentious, but <laughs> I'll but, be pretentious yeah. for you. Thank you. Appreciate You're welcome. It, yeah. <laughs> I have been hearing that discourse a lot on TikTok right now. There's a lot of like, yeah, more, that yeah. that, and and I, you know, I I. I'm a good example of someone who straddles both because I've seen every Marvel movie and TV show. I'm super invested in that. Same as like Game of Thrones. I'm a huge like high IP nerd, but I also love smaller movies, right. quote unquote. Like, you know, that's what a mid budget where it's just like a really good director and actor is trying to tell a good story that mm-hmm. is like a little less VFX heavy. Right. Right. Yeah, Mario. Now I have to ask, do you have any movie recommendations for us girls? Yeah. Like, what do we have to see? So we've been bad about going to see movies that have come out recently that aren't like uh, Marvel stuff. <laughs> so it's easier for TV shows. So we watch more TV now than movies. I think most people have caught on to this bandwagon, but Severance was incredible on mm. Apple TV. I would highly recommend that. Uh, we just got introduced on the comedy side to a show on Hulu called Reboot. That's really funny. Uh, okay. Rachel Bloom from Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. Paul oh, Reiser from Mad About You. Uh, Johnny Knoxville randomly is on it. It's just okay. Like, okay, really adding funny. that. Yeah. Sure. Love that. Um, House of the Dragon. Going back to my Game of Thrones. Um. House of the Dragon. Yeah, and any I my person like my soft spot for stuff is anything that gets kind of a little bit weird and psychological because that's mm. like do you I like say. Black Mirror? Love Black Mirror. Yeah. Yeah. I've only watched one episode of Black Mirror because it's too spooky for me, but it was the one with Miley Cyrus. Mm. Oh, yeah. So good. <laughs> I like Black Mirror. It does make me feel weird, but I think that's why I like it. The thing is, right, with TV, I like TV or, or movies that lean into the voyeurism. Like, you're there watching mm. other people and things that kind of, like, twist that and, and make you feel like you're, or like, or like, activate that part of you that you sort of try to sound where you feel like you're watching something maybe that you shouldn't be watching. Is really cool. Like Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Spy Kids 3D. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. We were talking 3D. about this yesterday. When we were talking about 3D, I was like, but what about Spy Kids 3D when they ship you the glasses? Right. That's a different that was a experience. It's a different experience. Yeah. That's fair. Peak That's cinema, fair. though. I think we can both. <laughs> Scorsese is really on board with it. Yeah. Yeah, he actually directed it. You didn't know that. I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah, he did. Wow. Mm-hmm. I learned something here, too. You're welcome. I, oh. I love educating you on film. <laughs> Thank you. This. Really awesome. this. <laughs> well, um, you know what? Because we have our next guest laying across the bed, <laughs> watching. Can I, can, can, sorry, can wanna... I just say I am honored to be the first man to be on uh, oh. 20 whatever? <laughs> not this. Not the beef. Fight. Can't fight, take that back. Fight. 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 <laughs> also, uh, appropriate that he's coming second since he came second in Mario Kart. Oh, oh my God, Steven, I don't even know if you want to come. I, right honestly, now. you might. You, you can't. You, we don't know. You should kind of be embarrassed to show your face here. <laughs> he walks on the set. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but since you're here, do you want to introduce our next guest? Oh, yes. Uh, coming next onto the stage from way back in the bed, just five <laughs> feet away. <laughs> it's one and only Steven. Yay! All right, and our next guest, a familiar face, not on the channel, but around, you know, in the Schultz universe. Um, please welcome his first name, Steven. Steven. Yo. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Number one hater. Number one hater. Actually, yes. Steven really does just give us all the hardest time. Yep. We can't do anything. He's like, what are you doing? Losers. Nerds. <laughs> You guys are having too much fun. I gotta kind of. Gotta bring it down. I gotta humble us. I gotta, I gotta reel you guys back a little bit. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. <laughs> he's like, he's like, all right, reel it in, reel it in. Yeah. Come on, come on. <laughs> How do you feel? Um, sorry, unfortunately, being the second man on the podcast. <laughs> you know what? The How seat's nice and warm. Yep. Um, okay. I'm at home. You know, right. Mario can go before me. It's fine. You can get the advantage. He needs right. it. So. <laughs> <laughs> mm, mm, mm-hmm. So I do. I do think it's kind of special that we're filming a podcast at the retreat with Steven when it was last year at oh. the retreat mm-hmm. that yes. Steven was like, you three need to do a podcast. So right. right. Like it's this- literally the one year anniversary. It is. Yeah. This is one anniversary of my idea. Look where we are. <laughs> Not like, look, like, take a look. We're, we're here. Right. <laughs> this is what he envisioned. So I think it would be kind of fun for you to talk about like what you saw to make you like come up with this end of yeah. conversation with Sierra. Yeah. So when I think of like, you know, where we were with Sierra Unfiltered, it was like very like friend conversation. You sat on it. You list, like, you didn't necessarily need to know the girls, but you felt like you were sitting there friends with them. Um, 
And so I was like, we were always trying to figure out what to do with the podcast. You know, so we were exploring options and it was like, uh, you know, we kind of find that magic sauce. And, meh, meh. Um, and it kind of just, it just sat there. And then at the retreat, so Ryan was on the team. Paloma was a plus one. And these two girls sitting at the table talking, you know, they'd be sitting there like, like, it's <laughs> like, like, house like they were just, like yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I wish I remembered, but like bantering and like just having fun. And like, I just sat there and I was like, I have no, I, I've never really met Ryan like in any capacity. I have no idea who Paloma is. And I was just sitting there. I was like, I loved, I could just sit here and listen to them talk. Whatever the hell they were talking about. I didn't matter how much I cared or not cared, but it was like, they're just fun to listen to. And then like, you know, Sierra being in there. And then I was sitting there. I was like, that's exactly what the podcast is supposed to be. Like mm. for me, I, like when I was looking at the podcast, it's like just people talking, like you kind of get sucked into their conversation. You feel like you're sitting there friends with them. It's like that natural flow to the conversation. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. That and like when we're filming, we never really have to stop and be like, okay, what's, what are we talking about next? It just right. goes. Yeah. Yeah. And then very, and we can't stop. Yeah. 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 And like very approachable in your conversation mm -hmm. and how you converse. And that was like, I was like, so yeah, see, podcast. I think we should talk to Ryan Paloma. <laughs> <laughs> we, yeah. should, we should talk to them. I think it'd be a fun thing to try out. And we tried it out and it was, I think it did really well. So. Well, let me tell you, I'm really glad you did because as a plus one. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. And now you get to be here as not a plus as one. As a team With one, your right. own plus oh one. Oh my, I know. We'll, we'll get to that. My, when my plus one shows up, I'm going to be sweating. So let's, back to you, Steve. <laughs> right. I mean, that, that's really it, right? So that's, back to you. I think that was really it. Um, it's been really cool. You guys have been doing such an awesome job. and so I've had so much fun. Also as like the spouse of Sierra, like taking off the business hat, like. Sierra's been like so much more alive and so excited with all this stuff. Oh. Like she definitely lit up like a Christmas tree, you know, being around you guys and doing all the filming and stuff. So, oh, that's so sweet. So as so as sweet. Sierra's husband, that has been very exciting and touching to see kind of happen, and you know, this mm. this new like serious friendship blossoming. And, oh. uh, and that's the thing. I was doing this like TikTok trend where you like rate every month of your year. And I got to April and I was like looking at the vlogs and stuff. I was like, April was so fun. I was like, why was April so fun? And I'm like, that's when me and Paloma really became like good, good friends. Mm -hmm. mm. Like we were friends before that, like from the Big Bear trip, like we we're all hanging out and stuff. But I feel like it was April when like we did the first Twilight episode and like you and I really, oh, yeah. really started yeah. being close friends. Yeah. And I was like, I don't know, as an adult, like how often do you ha like have a new like close best friend yeah right. but how right. often does that happen and honestly like, Sarah yeah. I was just briefly telling Ryan I'm like and I don't know why I'm like not that we haven't hung out this past year so much and everything I was like but I feel so close to Sierra and, and yeah. I think yeah. it is because of the conversations we have been having on this podcast that I just feel that I've seen so many different parts of you and yeah. we've just kind of show like opened up each other to each other so I just uh, we talked about how like in a in a regular like situation even if you guys met at the same time you wouldn't be having these like deep conversations off right, that. Like right. that doesn't happen. Right. It's it takes here. years to get to that place where you're exactly. like, okay, let's like dive into our trauma. Mm -hmm. yeah. But like yeah. we, <laughs> we jumped right in with that. Yeah. And yeah. because of that, I feel like we formed a friendship that feels like it's like five, 10 years. Yeah. Not right. a year. Right. A year? A year ago we just met. How? How? The math doesn't math it's for me. It's not right. math. The math's it not math. It doesn't. That's so it funny. It doesn't. It also helps that you guys are just good, genuine humans. All three Aww. of you. So. Steven, well, we introduced you as a hater. I know, and now we're gonna you make us look bad. <laughs> oh my god. This is all for show. This is all because of cameras. The cameras will cut and he's turned like, off. He's like, losers. <laughs> <laughs> but all in good fun. Thank yeah. you. Yes, yes, yes. All in good fun. You, it is it is so cool to see just how like supportive and encouraging you've been of us doing this. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. It, it it really felt made me feel empowered to like to go and, and oh. do this and experience yeah. this. And, I mean, I mean, yeah. not even Less supporter, more just believer. I think this is definitely like, this yeah. No, you're so true. Believer. in every way possible. Yeah, I mean, I was. It was an so, easy thing to support. I was so like honestly taken aback when we were having that conversation back in Big Bear. I was like, is this happening? And like to hear that this was your idea. Like I think in my head, I would it would make more sense like for you to pitch that right. Like oh, I was thinking of blah blah blah. But Steven. Stephen was like, I think that this should happen. It started now. Yeah. Sarah was like, we can't do it tomorrow. Yeah, no, I remember yeah. I remember going to Sarah's shower and I was like, oh, this is my chance. Hey, Sierra, <laughs> we should do a podcast with Ryan Ploma and we should go talk to them like tonight. Right. She's like, hey girls, we're going to the we're going to the patio, we're gonna have a little chat. Yeah, and I freaked <laughs> out. I was like, I'm gonna get fired. I got, I, got, as, I got too drunk yesterday. I'm gonna get talked to. As the plus one, I'm like, I'm so sorry that I have to be in on the meeting that we're in trouble. <laughs> that we're in trouble. Like we've yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, um, yeah, Turned time. it around. Yeah. 
turned it around. And and the fact that we're now not only like, oh, it's been a year, but we're filming a podcast from the retreat. Yeah. Right. That's cool. Full oh, circle dude. moment. Full circle moment. And with the retreat, how how what's we've asked everyone this, so I feel like we have to extend it to Steven. Absolutely. What what how's the retreat been for you? That's awesome. I love being I wish this, you know, maybe not the whole retreat thing, but I wish this group of people got together more and got creatively yeah. like banging heads. I like that a lot. I did too. Yeah. It's cool. I mean, <laughs> Who's the, to say the magic it happens. happen. It's the magic true. happens. So it really does. No, it does. It's this cool. whole weekend is just like you said, just like being around like this group of people is and just the ideas and just great energy. It's been overall. so like, fun. And that makes su- the weekend. You know, like this house could be as dope as it is and the yeah. chef can be as amazing as she is, but it's like the people you spend it with. And this it's the people that made it this trip for me for sure. It's yeah. also just like we were all saying it like warms our hearts to see you, Ryan and Ryan, like together hanging out with Mario yeah. too and like my dad and like just all the, the boys, boys are boys. boys. Yeah. 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 Speaking of the boys be boys, uh I think the boys are gonna have to take to take over an episode one day here. Um what boys? Uh-huh. Steven and Ryan and Ryan. So like a takeover episode? Like you got like with us or like re- or are you guys like replacing, replacing us? us? Oh, just strictly replace you and, <laughs> and we could talk about the girls for an episode. Okay, wait, what From if we, the other side. What if we no. did an April Fool's episode where we just put them in wigs and had them sit in our spots and like didn't say anything? <laughs> they're like, hi, hey. Hello. Yeah, hey, hello. That's fun. That's fun. But we're talking about it now. So now they're gonna But know. but but then they'll just know. Okay. T- if you're seeing this, you'll know. If, if you're seeing this, this, yeah. You know. We if you're seeing this, comment a tomato. <laughs> <laughs> a tomato emoji. Well, question, Steven. Did that spark, did that come into your idea last night when we were filming that TikToks and you guys got so into it? Like, that was the first time I saw yeah, all the boys all, being and creative. You know, also, yeah. as someone who listens to the podcast, we, we learned so much about you girls, but from mm. one perspective. Oh. So you're trying to get the tea, Steven. What if I can learn about you girls through another perspective? Through, through the, the, people mm. through the eyes you. of your lovers. I would not have used those words, but you know, right. along along those lines. Right. So like, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. not. Perhaps not. <laughs> not that. Okay. Well, one day, 2023, big things are happening. So, anything could happen. Well, I'm excited that you came. You said really nice things. So yeah, you did. So lovely to have I was you. you know, there is one hater topic we have to bring up now that we have him here. The bread. Yeah, you guys need to you hash that out. You guys gotta out. hash this out. Let's oh. talk about it. All right. Any so rational know. person would agree with me. <laughs> explain, explain, explain what happened. Yeah, you know, let me take it. Let me, let me, oh, let me, oh, oh, oh. He let, said me, actually. let me walk you through. Okay. So Paloma and her wonderful boyfriend Ryan traveled over the summer. They went to where was this in Singapore? Singapore. Yeah. So you know Paloma's doing her thing, posting pictures of everything, and she's like, "Oh I mean, gee, we waited like a ninety minute line, and it's like li- literally it was like Wonder Bread that like had been toasted. <laughs> it was a good toast, but I saw like Wonder Bread, nice white slice of bread, toasted, and she's like, "I waited ninety minutes for this." And I just commented, I was like, what? <laughs> he literally responded, I don't get it. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, Steven, it's on the inside. He's like, mm, well. He's like, no. he's like, next time you guys are in the podcast room, I'm going to bring up some Wonder Bread and some toast for you girls. I was like, incredible. And you know, and sometimes in life we cling to things that we just choose to hate. And that is what I choose to hate. Just this, this slice of bread that someone waited 90 minutes in line for. So when we had the avocado bar, I was like making that right. toast for Steven. And like I put it on the, on the plate and Steven was like, oh, like from some Singapore. <laughs> Mm. You can eat it with nothing on it. Like yeah. <laughs> Steven does nothing if not hold on to a grudge right. forever. It, yeah. it's, he has one, he'll take one bit and he'll just run, run with it. Run with it. So this, yeah. this little white sliced boring looking piece of bread is what I choose to Blue roast Paloma, Paloma on. Yep. Yeah. Now what, what's the thing that you roast Ryan on? I don't I haven't she doesn't post anything that you know she hasn't posted the white slice yeah, of bread. Yeah, all of my You're content waiting. is I haven't is, done anything. She hasn't good. yeah, you haven't done yeah. anything laughable. Oh, yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> I'm not a clown on the internet. You should take me very seriously. <laughs> I think you should watch my vlogs. <laughs> she's clowning. Come to it. my channel. It's the yeah. circus. Yeah. And and what about me? Your lovely doting wife. Oh. Uh, so many there's, things. There's, there's so much I just she's like, I, too there's much. so much I just lost track of it all. <laughs> I don't know what the list. You have a plum, I got the one thing, so I can always bring it up. Right. I don't know what the one thing is for you. You make fun of me a lot for never updating my phone. Oh, I mean, there's just plenty of... It's all the technology things. He's so, like, pet peeved constantly of, like, the way I interact with technology. Which is insane. But that's not unique. I think anyone who works with you in any capacity will also find your... Uh, I see some raised eyebrows over there. They disagree. I am I am up on my technology. I think, I know, I think you're not to his I know anyone who's asked, hey, can you sit down on Sears' desktop and grab this one file? Is, okay. Everyone's sure. gone through that spiritual... Jaden's covering her mouth. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's yeah. gone through that experience. I or, think you're, like, complete lack of awareness for where your phone is and you have multiple. Like, that's, like, really crazy to me. She's like, oh, where's my phone? Where's my phone? I'm like, you have 14. <laughs> <laughs> Just pick one up. Just grab any one of them. That's true. That's a big one. And the car keys. 
Oh, oh yeah. And the car keys. Never knows where. I just keys lose are. everything. Yep. yep. I keep. I keep throwing more tiles and. You know, he has uh, air tags air, and air tags. tiles on and, both, and that still there's, don't do it. He still enough. doesn't know where. Yep. I still don't know. Still don't know. Well. So. Well, uh, thank you for joining us, Stephen. A delight. A, a delight. delight. Truly. Since we let Mario. Intro- Mario. Was that good? Mario. 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 Apple. Mario. Mario. You're saying, you're saying it the way that offends him. That's Which right. is the way I always said it. Because I thought that's the right way when I learned that. I was probably offending him the whole time. <laughs> I know. So you got to say ma, apple, Mario. Yeah, I hate uh, you, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> Since we let Mario introduce. He, he gave me the point. That was yeah. a good one. Yeah. <laughs> introduce. You as the next guest. Why don't we let you introduce the next guest who's waiting Ryan? in the wings? It's Ryan. Wow. We're going to have two Ryans on set. This is so yeah. exciting. Yeah. Ryan, Paloma's boyfriend. Great guy. Boy Ryan. Boy Ryan. First. Well, Ryan, lovely to have you here. Thanks for having me. Yes. Excellent. Bring your boyfriend to work day. <laughs> right. <laughs> really right. My hands are sweating. <laughs> so freaking out. Who's right more now? nervous? You or you? <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. This one's getting very she's, jittery. Like, she's so giggly. I'm like, what are you nervous about? Yeah, what's nothing, honey. <laughs> I'm like, what could I expose her? Man? That's like, the, <laughs> that's like the, that's the potential. Oh my god, yeah, this is so much. Right? <laughs> I, it's so fun being around the three of you because if, if anyone doesn't know, these three are roommates. Mm. So like the roommate vibes are strong. Like I feel like I'm in your house. Oh, oh really? You've this energy. is what it's like. Yes, with the Boba Fett portrait on the. Oh wait, no, no Boba Fett. Wow. Oh, would you? Sorry, that that we're gonna we jump spot. in we, with 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 the tea. I think you should talk about that. Let's talk about that. Let's okay. All right. So last night we did a white elephant gift exchange, right. um, and uh, I think I I was like up third. So. Obviously, a very bad pick in the draft. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So I went for the most aggressive, the biggest present there was. um, And it was an awesome 3D art uh, picture um, of Boba Fett, jetpack, flames coming out, blaster fully extended. (laughs) After the Sarlacc pit. Yeah, yes, yes. In the timeline of the Star Wars. Uh Yes, it was after the Sarlacc. Um, And it was just the most, like, if you move, it's like, uh, what is it it called? Uh, Holographic. Yeah, holographic. Yeah, Yeah, so you move it. It's like Boba Fett's moving too. Right. It was was an awesome. It was awesome. Um, But maybe five rounds in, stolen. Mm. Stolen. Stolen (laughs) by one, we learned how to say it, Mario. Mario. (laughs) <laughs> Wait, but Mario didn't steal it first. That was the second steal. Oh, yeah, you're yes. right. If that was act- the nail in the coffin. You were well. first Mario, screwed but, over by our uh, next guest. Yes, Ryan. Uh, the, yeah. Ryan. <laughs> yeah. the arch nemesis, the yes. other Ryan. Yes. I couldn't believe I was so offended for you. <laughs> I need to send you that vlog clip because I filmed it. You looked so mad. I couldn't believe. I just couldn't believe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that clip is great because I remember looking over at Ryan. She's like, Babe, how could you? How could you? You know he wanted that. I, just, I was like, that's your friend. Yeah, that's why would you do that? You're making friends. Why would you do that? And my mom's next to you going, it's white elephant. That's I how know. it goes. She takes it so seriously. That's she the like, game. That's the game. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can steal it back. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah. It's honestly inspired me. Maybe I should start looking into like 3D Star Wars art. Or I, I don't know. I feel like it's kind of weird if I personally look for it versus like it being gifted to me. Right. Because right? then you're like, oh, this, this old thing. Yeah. Oh, I just had to get it for a white elephant. Yeah, right. 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 Oopsie, versus oopsie. like, I, I went sought out and this out. Bought but this. for yeah. a couple of rounds, you thought that that was coming home with you. He had uh-huh. it like he was holding yeah. it, showing it off. Which, by the way, during the rounds, I was like, stop showing how cool it is because that like lures <laughs> people steal it. in. Keep you know? it to yourself. Yeah, right. keep it to yourself. So I was like, hide it, hide it. And he looks at me and he's like, I'm gonna hang this. I'm, 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 I'm this going in the living room. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. Right. So with uh, with this being your first, well, this is our first time. Not this, like on the podcast, but this trip is our yeah. first time meeting. This is kind of your first time being around. Mm-hmm. The team and seeing Paloma's work environment. What what are mm-hmm. what are the thoughts? What are the vibes? Um, you guys work your butt off for sure. <laughs> like you, you know, like it's Thank you. it's not a like yesterday. You guys had like five six hours of like meeting and brainstorming and talking and like even in my like regular work day, I don't think I you know those are like the the biggest days for meeting days in terms of like that kind of stuff. But that's um you know it's not just um pictures and selfies obviously but right. i knew that but <laughs> right. but it's a lot more that goes behind the you know so it's uh it's pretty cool it's yeah how's it how's the seeing your, your lady working like she working mm-hmm. yeah it's, i mean I, I don't really know i didn't know like the behind the scenes don't really know what goes yeah. behind you know even one tiktok or one right. instagram right. or one episode too so so yeah it's really cool to See how the sausage gets made. Yeah. 
And you guys in in your boys TikTok moment, you guys really you guys, you guys really gave. put some effort yeah? in. Okay, yeah. I, yeah. I, I can't. I, I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> Watched them a little yeah. bit, and you guys were giving. Laying uh, on the pool table, uh, coming yeah. up with choreography. Uh, yeah. The pool table is my idea. I'm just gonna put that out there. Oh, okay. Okay. We, need some, we need someone laying here. Okay, I got the props out, the sticks, and, okay. and, you have and the vision. so yeah, yeah, I had it, I had okay. it. Listen, <laughs> that that's necessary. Yeah, yeah. that's necessary. Uh-huh. <laughs> Every good TikTok needs a visionary. Yeah, facts, facts. So do you do you help pee with like filming stuff around the house or anything like that? Occasionally, I think it started. Um, we've been dating for a few years now, so it started with like her audition tapes and wow. stuff like that, right? So it's. It's been like, you know, I've been reading lines to you on the, on the, behind the camera. Right. <laughs> so, so you would so be her reader when she would do self tapes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. You uh, really were my reader. Yeah. That's yeah. so true. Yeah, so yeah. True. Yeah. So <laughs> I'd be putting my effort into it too. I think a little, little too much. A little too, <laughs> little too much effort. Yeah, they're like, so the girl in front of the camera, She's mid, okay. uh, mid, but, but the one behind the camera, uh-huh. step up. Yeah. He was given the f- emotions. Right. Yeah. You, and you and that's the great thing about you though. Like you, mm. when you have a great reader to feed off of, and that's the great <laughs> thing about you. You have such great energy. So as yeah. a reader, it was like, hell yeah. Yeah, right. well, I had to do like three different, four different people behind it. So right. like, <laughs> just trying to come up with these stories and accents. Yeah, of course. He's like filling out a character yeah. sheet with the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which Ryan is not a theater guy, but now I kind of feel like he secretly, might be. secretly you are because last night I overheard you and all, all the boys and all the girls like singing to Pitch Perfect, uh-huh. harmonizing. Oh man, you're going to expose me like that, huh? Yeah. You, you guys right. were really jamming <laughs> to Pitch Perfect. No, well. yeah, yeah. Uh... Big, big Pitch Perfect fan? Um, it's a good movie. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Good, good he movie. respects great uh, mm-hmm. harmonies, uh-huh. which... He's yeah. honestly a better harmonizer than I am. Really? That's I, don't, I don't know no, about that. It's true, Ryan. It's, I can't hear it. Ask her. Ask she her doesn't right. know. She can't. I'm the you worst give. harmonizer. We have to, when we're in shows together, we, I have to like drill it with her. I have to be like, okay, this is a harmony. We have to do it over and over and over. And Real life. I know, yeah. no, no harmony. So yeah. you, when you're like, oh, that's the harmony. I'm like, why do you, can you hear that? So they. Do I harmonize or am I just really low? So it sounds like, it, yeah, it yeah. So it sounds like. Perhaps. She wouldn't know. She doesn't know. (laughs) (laughs) I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. (laughs) It all sounds like harmony to her. Tell me, what has been the most favorite part about this whole retreat? You know what? I have a new uh, found love for pickleball. That was my my first uh, pickleball experience. Um, Who'd you play? Well, me and Mario were on the team and we played um, Steven and I'm blanking. Oh, Melissa. Melissa. Uh, Yeah. Okay. Um, And it it was awesome. It was... uh, you did know. you win? <laughs> Steven in the background, did you win? Did you no, win? no. It was it was a tight game. Uh, we went 10 and 10. It was down the line. Oh, it was a comeback, by the way. Steven was up like 7 nothing. Then we came back, um, and, and they, they ended up winning at the, mm. the last. In, in double overtime, that's the technical term. Him right? throwing that in there for <laughs> laying on the bed. Such a hater. Like, in the covers, you guys don't even know what we're looking at right now. But did you win? <laughs> did that's you win? So funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also, the the chef part is is pretty freaking cool. Too. Dude, yeah, yeah. lit. Um, What's your favorite meal that we've had? Probably the uh, the braised beef last Dude, night with the mashed potatoes. So like good. It was, yeah, it was fire. So yeah. good. Oh yeah. my gosh. What did you Never, eat? Uh, it was like a mushroom and carrot thing in like the same sauce oh, oh, okay. with the mashed potatoes. It was so good. Okay. With those potatoes. So good. Yeah, the potatoes. Yes. Wait, can we talk about the baked potato before those Oh potatoes? my gosh. Oh, yes. The well, baked potato bar. The baked potato fire. bar. Mm-hmm. Fire. So good. Custom baked potato. Yeah, it was yes. awesome. Yes. Yeah. Did I've never know? had like a private chef or any kind of experience like this before too, so that's it's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's it's cool too with everyone's like food allergies and preferences. Yeah. Just being able to like not have to like call a restaurant and be like, hey, we need mm. yeah. one gluten free, two nut free, yeah. one dairy free. Like it's right. just all amazing. Yeah. I, I feel like that's one of those things, you know, when people ask, like, oh, if you could have like a driver, a housekeeper, or a personal mm-hmm. chef. Personal, Personal chef, chef 100%. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. What about you? What would you I choose? I don't know. Because I enjoy cooking. Right. Mm. We've talked about this on the podcast, how you're the cooker. Yeah. But but I like watching Chef Melissa, I feel like you would elevate my cooking a little bit. So mm. and obviously you don't have a personal chef like every day, right? Right. So. Maybe a mix of mix of both, Love. but you gotta put like personal trainer on there too. I feel like that's gonna yes. be on like because I wouldn't okay, mind see. a personal trainer. That'd be kind of cool. Right. I think masseuse. Oh, mm. oh like a, a chiropractor. Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. Honestly, everything. Everything. Why can't yeah. I have a driver? I want all of it. <laughs> <laughs> Soon, one day. Should we chat a little bit about the fact that you are boy Ryan and girl Ryan? Like, how yes. Because like? mm-hmm. you started dating P. 
you guys met on Hinge, right? Yes, we did. So you started dating P. When did it come up? Like, hey, so my best friend is also named Ryan. So she's not changing her name. So you now have to be boy Ryan. Uh huh. Well, uh, when I met Paloma, Ryan still lived in New York. So it was a very distant problem. Wow. Right? <laughs> yeah, it did not. Uh, yeah, yes. that's right. Yeah. So, uh, but then she moved back and then we ended up, they ended up moving together and then it became a more prevalent problem. <laughs> um, yeah, my, my name's always been obviously very common and, you know, and so I've always gone by like my last name when it comes to like uh, sports growing up and, and all that kind of stuff. But um, it's definitely a little annoying. Like this weekend, it's like Ryan. I'm like, it, yeah. er, everybody is like, yeah, Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. Yeah. Well, and the so. four of you guys <laughs> drove up together. So uh, it's Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. And Bloma. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There has been a couple times that someone goes Ryan and like the three of you look. We all just mm-hmm. like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We need to. We need to. But find it's not it. bad. <laughs> it's it's, it's not, honestly mm-hmm. not as bad as you would think that it. It's funny mm-hmm. though. Yeah. Oh and yeah. It will never not be funny. Great content. And Great yeah. content. And you always have their attention. Like yeah. The three of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. And it's just like, do I go by a different name? Am I giving up the battle for to be called Ryan? To be I do? the. Is it like you know? a battle of the Ryan? <laughs> we should do a battle it's not, of the Ryan. It's not a competition. I don't know. I have tried to explain this so many times. It's not a competition. I am literally the one, the only. Period. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, Ryan, tell us one thing that maybe the viewers or, you know, the people sitting in this room wouldn't know. Well, Plum is a. a a burger connoisseur. Mm, um, thank you. That's yeah. right. <laughs> Cheeseburgers. Uh, uh, and her in and out order. And by the way, you showed me this, and now I don't get it any other way now. Um, she put me on too. Yeah. Double double from in and out. Uh, whole grilled onions, chopped chilies. Yep. Yes. Yes. And that's the way to go. That's kind of sexy that you said that. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. I put you should, on that. Yeah. Do we need yeah. to leave? I'm like, should, <laughs> we, go? should we go? <laughs> the cameras are rolling. Let's just keep the camera. <laughs> Just cut the tapes. Cut the yeah, tapes. Yeah, cut the tapes. <laughs> well, Ryan, it has uh, been so lovely getting to know you this weekend. Mm-hmm. I'm so excited to continue hanging out with you more. Yeah. And uh, I know we're already talking about whispers of a trip with uh, us and the, the partners. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. I think that would be super fun. Yes. And we'll yeah. see you on the pickleback court. I think we should yes. play him. Uh-huh. Yes. Yes. Oh, my gosh. After lunch. She, yes. said, she said pickleback court. Pickleback. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What is it? You got oh my, isn't that a- thinking about liquor. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you said pickleback. Pickleball. That's embarrassing. Pickleball. <laughs> Anyways. I am so proud to present the third Ryan, who is here, also dressed in his ugly sweater. Matching Thank you for us. getting the memo. Yeah, yeah, you came to give. Yeah. I try. <laughs> and try and Ryan. Try and Ryan. And Cry and Ryan. No. A dynamic duo. <laughs> no. I don't want Cry and Ryan. Definitely not Lion Ryan. Definitely Ooh. not Lion Ryan. Never, never Lion Ryan. <laughs> what an iconic boyfriend reveal. Can I say that? Yeah. Ryan has a boyfriend. Ooh. And it's also Ryan. <laughs> yeah. So, the plot yeah, thickens. The plot thickens. Yeah. So now there's, if, if it wasn't bad enough that there's, Two, I had to bring in another. You know what I mean? But I get it. Like I, I after you? Ta- like meeting you and oh. talking to you this weekend, I'm like, I get why the n- having the same name wasn't a deal breaker. Because you're so awesome. Like you really are. You're so oh, great, and you guys are you. so great together. Thank you. I'm like, you know, at first I'm like, can he really be that great that it's worth dating someone also named Ryan? Right. But. It is. So and you're so it. great. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something rung you. strong with that name because yeah. obviously three around. No, it's a lot. Them. Well, I, I like to tell people, I'm like, I don't, I actively do not, what is it called? I actually don't like pursue people with the name Ryan actively. Obviously, like it's a really common name, whatever. And I'm like, I just don't need that in my life. So I act, and we met on Hinge too, actively. I see a Ryan. I'm like, no, I don't care how hot you are, what you do. I, I, it doesn't matter. And he somehow slipped through the cracks. I don't know how. So that's but. what I want to know. What was it on his Hinge profile that made you go, you know what? His name's Ryan, but I've got to at least try. She said, send it. Send <laughs> it. Honestly, this is so, I hate this. Yes, tell them. <laughs> I hate so this. Because you hear. messaged me first. <gasps> oh, my oh. God. Stop. <laughs> let's spill the tea. I yes. hate it here. No, let's not. Let's. It's, let's, it's, let's, it's let's, let's. It's piping hot. It's piping hot. Honestly, honestly, I was like, he's so cute. And he had like a great smile. And I was like, fuck. Mm. Oh. And what was it that made you? Because also, we, we only talk about it from your perspective. Mm. You're also named Ryan. Yes. And so you also saw Ryan on the Hinge profile. And you said, you know what? I, I don't care. Right. 
honestly, I saw her name and I was like, wow, this is spelled so much cooler than my name. That's true. So I'm like, the person's got to be just as cool, too, if not cooler. And she was. She delivered. She delivered. That's sweet. But I will say this (laughs) trip here with the three Ryans and the the bit going on, I think I'm gunning for the main Ryan. So in the comments, let me know. Let everyone know if you think I deserve to be the main Ryan. And then there's the other Ryan. What is going on? That's what I would like to... I hope you viewers are shook because I'm shaking. No, I'm quaking. Wow. Main Ryan. I thought I would come... I said, I'm going to come away from this weekend with a nickname for you that differentiates you from the Ryans. But I've realized it's Ryan's Ryan. Yes. That's fantastic. (laughs) I love that there's Ryan, boy Ryan, and Ryan's Ryan. Does Ryan's Ryan go both ways? No. (laughs) Because Ryan's Ryan? No. I mean... Ryan oh. Ryan goes both ways, but Ryan's Ryan goes only for Ryan. Like, like, Ryan yeah. Yeah. yeah, like if he were to go to hang out with his friends, would they refer to you as the Ryan's Ryan? No, you would just be Ryan. Yeah, I'm just Ryan. Be- but that also is less <laughs> complicated because I assume you don't have a roommate who's also named Ryan. I do not. Luckily. Yeah, so. Oh, right. Thankfully. Just- Thankfully. I know. Luck. Delusion. So. My sister, I, my sister was like, "You guys are like a band. It's like Paloma and the Ryans." And I was like, "Yeah, I'm yeah. kind of with it. I, I kind of love could, it. We can make a great band. We have uh, your boyfriend Ryan, right? Great low voice singer. Uh-huh. We already right. established crazy the on the harmonies. Yes, uh-huh. thank you yes. so much for that. Yes. And then you can be the other harmonizing singer because mm-hmm. Paloma's going to be the lead singer, so right. she doesn't melody. have to harmonize anything. Man. The melody. I have to be the yes. melody. I'm so and sorry. Then- <laughs> And then I'll just be doing the thing. The sound. Vibe I can sound. drum. Okay. Can uh. Period. He's a little bit. I think we need to like take a picture, like the four of us. It's like pull and then it's like the three the of us. Like, yes. <laughs> and put it on a shirt. Oh my gosh! Yes. That'd be so funny. That's be so awesome. funny. I love Plum that. Plum on the rhymes. Plum on the rhymes. So I I don't want to grill you too much. I really okay. don't. So I'm holding back here. Just Please. So you know. Okay. Okay. But. Let's tell us a little bit about the relationship. How to get started? How's it going? Your first time being so, around the work environment. So it's we actually met on Hinge a long time ago, like over a year ago, and we started hanging out and became good friends, and it was kind of more of a casual relationship. And then um, I think both of us we kind of went our separate paths for a little bit, trying to do our own things. And then after some time, we kind of just like naturally circled our way back to each other tried the casual thing a little bit and it kind of immediately turned into like what are we doing here like let's try to maybe make something real that we can build upon like an actual relationship and it was either like let's not do it or let's do that and i was like oh i want to do that i want to do the relationship so you were like full send it's full send yeah so that's been a few months of that and it's been it's been really awesome honestly it was a little shake not even shaky i'd say just kind of weird to like go from like the casual relationship how it used to be to a real relationship and like i think our communication was awesome about that and probably because you guys had been friends for so long yeah Yeah. exactly it wasn't it wasn't like you're learning all of these things about each other while you're trying to pursue a relationship Mm -hmm. you've learned the things and now you just get to try pursuing the relationship exactly you don't have to put on a facade or anything you can we can we were just able to be really real with each other which yeah is awesome. Yeah. So that was a great answer. <laughs> I was she's worried. Blushing. She's oh. clenching her I was, asshole. Right? Dude, I know. Asshole is clenched. I was. I'm not that I was worried, but I was like, you're worried. What? What? Like, what are you gonna say? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I was really excited to meet you this weekend, and I have very high standards for Ryan as my friend, and like, I just expect the world for her. Mm-hmm. And I was pretty immediately like impressed by you, and pretty immediately like saw what a good match you guys are. And it's been like really fun to to watch this weekend. The coupling couple. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like for me, I I kind of my like some of my personality is like, oh yeah, like I'm single. Like I'm the fun auntie. Like I'm just going to be single forever. And like, ha 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 ha. Which is still the vibe. Obviously, like, Still the vibe. Yeah. <laughs> Still like the cool auntie Still vibe. And you participate in the vibe. That's what I love. Yeah. Sometimes when the fun friend gets in a relationship, They're they not lose fun their anymore. spark. Yeah. And you, spark needs you would ignite mm-hmm. the spark. Yes. You guys mm-hmm. are sparking together. But yes. The sparks are flying. They're flying. Flying. <laughs> Fly high. Yeah. And I, I was worried that like me getting into a relationship was kind of going to like mess up what like the bit that we all had, which mm-hmm. was like, oh yeah, like Ryan's like single and rowdy and like whatever and you know you had your long-term boyfriend and you're married and have babies and everything so it was like I was like damn I'm really like 
gonna fuck this up for us. Like, <laughs> but it's been great. Obviously, like this is the reveal. I can reveal him on my vlog channel as well. Um, but yeah, it's it's been fun. It's been really exciting. I'm not like a mushy gushy person. I don't really enjoy that, but I've been very feeling mushy gushy vibes. I was so. gonna say I've been feeling a lot of mushy gushy. I feel yeah. like it gives off the non mushy gushy, but yeah. actually very it is mushy very mushy gushy. Oh. Yes. Yes, it's a facade. (laughs) (laughs) What's it been like for you, P, watching this relationship? Mm, I absolutely love it. Like, seeing her so happy and someone who compliments her, just so lovely. Like, they bring out the the greatness of each other. Like, honestly, you know, when, and and like, as Sierra said, as my friend here, I'm like, all right, let's let's see who who she's gonna bring. Mm-hmm. But honestly, meeting you, I felt so comfortable. So and it it feels like you fit right in, and that's yes. something yes. you want. That's yes. like that's like that little nugget, you know. Like you're just, one of us. Yeah, yeah, exactly. One of us. Yeah. One of us. Yeah. One exactly. Of us. exactly. <laughs> that. And that's right. That's it. Right Look, there. he's wearing the sweater. I mean, right. come on. <laughs> I think I really felt that with you specifically when I came over to y'all's house one night and mm-hmm. y'all were just drinking, singing musicals. And I'm oh, like, yeah. oh, let me hop in yeah. and start singing along. Yeah. And yeah. It was a really fun night. Yeah. So, yeah. Even so. though your name is Ryan, I, uh, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll let it I'll, I'll collect. I'm name collecting Ryan. Ryan's. Yeah, I got to go. Paloma's like, all right, Ryan's, we got to go. And it's just like, <laughs> all right. Yeah. All of them. <laughs> yeah. So, since being here at the retreat in Palm Springs, what has been your favorite thing at the retreat? Also, like, are you just having fun? Like, what are the vibes? Oh, yeah. So much fun at the retreat. <laughs> There's, first off, when you sent me, hey, do you want to come to this retreat? I was like, you started with the link and I clicked through the house and I was like, <laughs> I'm there. Oh, right. my gosh. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. going to be crazy. Yeah. But I mean, even from the moment when we've gotten here, it's just been awesome. Like, everything's been so fun. The vibes, the people, the food, the place, the amenities. It's just all been super fun and even getting a, being able to see you in your world has been like super fun. Like obviously we've done the things where we're like helping taking pictures when we go out or right. doing stuff and like obviously like that's part of the job. But like actually seeing you with your crew and your team doing stuff is is really special. It feels like, oh, this is what you're building and like creating with the team. And I feel like that's like where the magic is. And so it's yeah. exciting to see you do your thing with <laughs> all your buddies. I know. He's like, that's my baby. He's Aww. doing it. Aww. And um, yeah, the retreat's been super fun. I love the house. I love how we have to like climb up a mini mountain to get into the hot tub. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love that. Um, I love the basketball hoop. Right. Yeah, the food has been incredible. Yes. Um, the baked potato bar, by far my favorite. That was your favorite? Very good. But also like the desserts, the creme brulee was Ooh, yeah. smacking. <laughs> so enjoyed that a lot. Yeah. Um, I missed out on the drones. I I don't know where I was. So but I brought mine too. Now. So we're gonna have to, we're all, gonna have to fly it. All fly three them. of our partners brought their drones. Yeah. So they're gonna the, play drones later. We today. were like the, the girls are working, go play with your airplane. Go get yes. play, play, play with your toys. Yeah, yeah. Play yeah. Don't really know what play drones. I guess we can play tag or something. <laughs> um, see how that works out. But we'll try to play drones today. Yeah, yeah. Well, Ryan, thank you so much for joining us. Thank I'm you. sure it was a little uh a little intimidating coming into this and not knowing how much we were going to grill you, but I hope I hope we didn't go too spicy on No, you. I had a blast being on here. Good. Aww. Thank you. Well, thank you, and I, you know me. I've got to get a little mushy. Thank you for making my friend so happy. Oh, you're welcome. Thank <laughs> you for having us here and mentioning that other trip. Um, oh, and- yes. Yes. <laughs> I was He's so like, so, we so there's a trip? To. No, we, we are. We have to. That we would are. be so, so fun. So I agree. So lit. Mm-hmm. Yes. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of 20 Whatever. We had so much fun. Obviously, I, I kind of want this to be the regular routine. I, I just want to interview all of our Even team. having the audience, honestly. No, I know. We have literally, like, there's people awesome. watching us. I thought that was going to make me nervous, but it did not. It only helped. Just more vibes. Yes, yes. yes. And uh, we are going to go down the water slide and uh, eat some good food, play some pickleback. pickleback. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe on YouTube, like this video if you liked it, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.